let's figure out what this team looks like, how they play. Right. There's what eight guys you could see getting key minutes and then a few others on top of that. So what do you see the starting slash close closing lineup looking like? And who are the young guys that are going to get some actual minutes coming off the bench? So as far as the starters go, my personal prediction, I think opening night will be Fred Van Vliet at the one, Jalen Green at the two, um, Dylan Brooks, Jabari, and then Alperen Shingun. Then off the bench, you have Kevin Porter Jr., Tari Eason, um, Ahmed Thompson, Jay Sean Tate. Now, so that's what nine guys. Mm-hmm. Then you then you have the fringe guys, you know, the Cam Whitmore, you know, Jeff Green, Jock Landale. It's going to be a competition. I think what the biggest thing is, I want to see how much Amen plays early. I want to see how much they allow him to develop because I know it's not going to be a thing where they throw him to the dogs and hope that he survives because now you have some structure in place where he doesn't have to be rushed to action. But I still want to see how much he's able to get on the floor and actually get minutes, right? Because there's only so much you can learn in practice and film sessions, right? Like you have to actually get on the floor and see, you know, how does this screen work? How does, you know, how do things work in the, in the NBA half court? So I want to see how that works going forward. Now, I do expect a pretty fierce competition in camp because you can make an argument that a lot of these spots are open, up for grabs, right? Because this is a team that's coming in on the ground level. They haven't done anything yet. So no one should walk into this thing, you know, unless you're an NBA champion, like, Family, we can cross off us and, and Dylan Brooks. I, outside of those guys, I think everything's up for grabs. You have to go out and earn it because, you know, frankly, you haven't won anything. You haven't done anything in your career. You need to show, you know, to, to Ime and a coaching staff that's going to naturally lean towards veterans that you should be on the floor. So you think Brooks definitely will start? Yeah, 100%. I think he'll start. I, I mean, I, yeah. I would be... <clears throat> Just because of what he brings defensively, I think I would be shocked if he didn't start because he's able mm-hmm. to single-handedly lift the floor and ceiling of that team def- just because of how much he's able to do by himself. Talk less of how he can help guys like Jabari and Tari, you know, and, and Alperin, you know, help out defensively. So I would be shocked if he didn't start when after it's all yeah. said and done. But hey, They need a defensive is, is commander out there. Yeah. No, they need like that's what Marcus Smart's role was in Boston. You run a the DPOI off of that under email. It's like they right. need that guy. They need that guy out there that just knows how to call and execute the switches. Right. And that's the interesting thing is going to be how much are they going to switch? Are they going to switch one through four? Are they going to keep Shangun in a drop? Are they going to even have him do what like Rob Williams did in Boston, where he's just kind of hanging out on the baseline off of that corner shooter, and then they're switching everything across the board? That that'll be really interesting because you yeah. can you know Fred Van Vliet's a small guard, but you can get away with it because he's so tenacious. So you don't yeah. have to worry about that. But seeing Shengun in kind of a roaming role would be actually. I wonder if they would have Smith do the roaming role and have Shengun be up on the ball because Smith is so athletic. That, that and could and because Shengun apparently he's now seven feet, so that kind of helps out. Hey, there you go. Know, in terms of wingspan and reach and everything, so I wonder if, if they bring him to, to, to the line of touch and have him just watching everything behind him, it's going to be pretty interesting to see for sure. 